the burner, man. Back with burner talks. And I waited a couple days to dive into this trade because I'm not going to lie. This is one of the weirdest trades I've seen in the NBA in a long time time before i get into what i mean to be greatly appreciated if you guys could smash that like also in the comment section let me know who won this trade i had to laugh saying that but don't kill me in the comment section but i want to tell y'all guys why i feel like this trade is weird first we're gonna go with josh giddy it just came out when it comes to josh giddy that he was not happy having the role of coming off the bench as you see right here and it's weird because he's about to go to Chicago and he's probably still going to be coming off the bench for a worse team. You're not, you're not starting in front of Kobe White. You're not starting in front of Rack Levine. Um, if DeRozan comes back, you're not starting in front of him. So you're pretty much going to be in the same role. You know what I'm saying? Not starting. So are you going to be mad playing for this team? And we're not even talking about Lonzo Ball. When he comes back, you're not going to be starting for in front of him. So it's like, I don't get it. If you are Josh Giddy, um, it might have been a troll by OKC. And I really don't get this trade if you are the Chicago Bulls. Um, I don't know what they're... Their whole thing behind this Caruso and Josh Giddy, um, and why they wanted to unload on Caruso for basically nothing. I looked on the internet, I didn't see any draft picks, um, in exchange for Josh Giddy, so it's pretty much an even trade. Josh Giddy for Caruso, unless I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Um, and my apologies, but a straight up trade, come on, bro. Josh Giddy is not as good as Caruso, not even half as good. You know, when it comes to Josh Giddy, we've all we've seen it in the playoffs this year. He's not a good shooter. He's a defensive liability. Can't really finish well. He can't really get around. I mean, he's bigger, like six seven, six eight, but he can't really get around anybody. Really, all he can do is pretty much just pass the ball. You're you're pretty much looking at a Walmart version of Ben Simmons. Literally a Walmart version of Ben Simmons that can't play any defense, bro. Like, why would you want that on your team? And it he doesn't even fit. He doesn't even fit the Chicago Bulls, bro. He really doesn't fit anybody's team with his play style. I'm not going to lie. He has to definitely work this summer. So it's like he's a liability on the court. And I just took him for Caruso before the trade line people were trying y'all was trying to get two and three draft pick first round draft picks for Caruso you go from that to giving him up in an even trade doesn't make sense so what I thought is maybe it's the money it has to be the money right on why they did this you know what I'm saying They're trying to dump off a contract but no it's not even the money <laughs> Caruso is making nine million this year after this year he will be a um, unrestricted free agent and Josh Giddy is making eight million, so it's a million dollar difference, bro. And Josh Giddy will be a free agent. He'll be a, he'll be a restricted free agent, but he'll be a free agent. So it can't be the money. So why did they do this trade? It doesn't make any sense in my opinion, bro. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, if you are the OKC Thunder, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Y'all just stole in broad daylight from the Chicago Bulls, bro. I don't know who was smoking, who was drunk when they made this trade. I don't know, but y'all just fleeced them guys. And also with the Thunder, they pretty much got rid of a player that they weren't even using anymore, bro. He had worked his way pretty much out of the rotation. Like I said, he was a liability on defense. I um, couldn't shoot and all those type things. And he was down to damn near like 10 minutes a game, bro. So they're not really going to miss him <laughs> at all. You're going to be getting Caruso, who is another defender, defender beside Dork and kind of beside Wallace. He's an okay defender. And you also have SGA, who is great in the lanes. Um, so you're going to be adding another defender right there. And you're not going to be pressured when you have when A lot of times Dork, I mean, he is a younger player. So a lot of times in the playoffs, especially in game six, he, he can committed some dumb fouls bro when you got them dumb fouls now you have caruso that you can put right there and caruso is also a veteran which that team obviously these with that team being one of the youngest teams in the league so it's a win-win around the board if you are the okc thunder i just don't i don't get this trade bro. like i said it is weird um from the chicago bulls standpoint i don't know if the chicago bulls is this is the first step to the rebuild mode which i feel like they should but i mean they're not really that far off though if you really think about it 
you know, they got some solid pieces. You know, you're not going to be able to get rid of Zach Levine. Um, you you still got Lonzo Ball. If he's even half or 75% of the player that he was, you know, say he's going to be great. Then, like I see the emergence of Kobe White, like you, you, maybe DeRozan, you're not a bad team for the East. You know what I'm saying? You're not a terrible, terrible team. Um, so I just don't get this trade when it comes to them. But in the comment section, I want you guys to let me know, what do you think of this trade? Again, don't forget to like up the video and subscribe because I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date on NBA news. And y'all already know who it is.